Moiso moiso dhuda wa miaka ili ya goto ihori la sai muhi umomata ili ya kenyuira unigi ya kerewe dainiru wa Facebook Reu mobiso fumadha muihaki wa higa Nea tagadhete ati niegete miro ya kethe kumare ugodhi na bere Dego soka kohe ya na sai kana kuholi ya gatuvia amu ogete ati Areda hui soka niliria uwe mwene Amu wedi wake akia jam Wale ugodhelia mawaganu maria meka giro kiko gona ine nedukata Sia gai, odolea awe tati ni agere ti hali ya we age hota Nole u, nere ya kinya ihida li ya we gudhi kehe li ni Oho aka ho ya mohera, ali ya ana heteri ya Na ali ya mana moheteri ya ni ya mohe ire Atano ya moko na igoro, muhaki ni ala koreto era muhu jia evangelist lusi wago Jiri okoro e na oira wa ukuru hani ya muiniwe gato Muigai ilu wa inere ya aire tu e yu meri ya aute gemani ya kinga ngayne Neguwa kigenyo kire ya ara ugire ati Negea kuigire lo Gekie here muige umenye mam Official statement transitioning from Mother Muihaki wa Hinga Dear friends, followers and supporters I hope this message finds you well Today I stand before you To share a significant and heartfelt announcement For the past two years I have had the privilege of running the Mother Muihaki Hinga Facebook account A platform dedicated to the correctional ministry and share Shedding light on societal issues, particularly within the context of the church. It has been a journey filled with passion, purpose, and unwavering commitment to the truth. The role of Mother Muhaki Hinga was clear from the start to act as a whistleblower, shining a spotlight on matters that demanded our collective attention. I embarked on this mission because of a deep seated belief in the power of truth and the need to address societal injustices, especially when they occurred within the framework of the church. However, as I step away from this phase of my life and transitioning into a more personal space, I find it essential to reflect on the impact of my actions. In the pursuit of truth and justice, I recognize that there were times when my words and actions may have caused hurt or discomfort to some individuals. To those individuals, I want to extend my heartfelt apologies. I was never my intention to inflict pain but rather to shed light on issues that needed addressing. I ask for your forgiveness and understanding. Similarly, I acknowledge that during this journey, I too have been hurt by others. It's important for me to express that I hold no grudges and extend a hand of forgiveness to those who may have caused me pain. We are all humans and we all make mistakes. Forgiveness is a powerful force that can heal wounds and restore peace. As I reflect on this chapter of my life, I profoundly, I am profoundly grateful for the vision that initiated it all. It began with a personal encounter that exposed a disconnect between the gospel's teachings and the actions of someone close to me. That pivotal moment ignited the Mother Muihaki Hinga story and I am grateful for the opportunity it provided to advocate for change and seek the truth. In closing, I want to emphasize that God has a remarkable way of transforming, reforming and elevating us. My decision to step away from this ministry does not signify an end but rather a new beginning. I look forward to the next chapter of my life where I can continue to grow, learn and serve in different capacities. Thank you for the support and encouragement throughout the journey. I remain deeply appreciative of each one of you and the impact we have collectively made. With sincere gratitude student best wishes agasa ina hau madha muhaki hinga na guwohari ya ira dhini wa madha muhaki hinga oficio alaki ugeti ati my letter to evangelist lucy wa gojiri oficio dear reverend lucy gojiri of pbb ministries gara first of all receive my warm greetings from the depths of my heart secondly i wish to let you know that i am a staunch supporter of yoge dhima kia moyo radio show i have decided to write this letter to you because there has been an issue that has been ongoing between Mugai Njeroge and you and I was mentioned in the mix. I want to 
clear the air concerning the issue you raised a while ago concerning Moigai's involvement in FGM issues. I would like to know how you came to the conclusion that Moigai Wajiroge is a supporter, advocate and adherence of groups, if any, focus on reviving the outlawed female genital mutilation FGM. The video is in the public domain and you are captured lecturing Moigai to abandon the unnamed pro FGM lobby. You went further to claim that in your teen years you escaped from your family when they attempted to force you to undergo the cut. Yesterday, Moigai Wanjiroge released a comprehensive statement arguing that the moment you linked him to FGM publicly, you inspired me and other person to hate him for nothing. He further claimed that when you did that, you subjected him to a public humiliation and mental anguish. I personally made it clearer yesterday that I have never at any given time linked him to FGM. I further clarify that my online beef with him is not personalized, but mere jokes to keep our followers entertained. Now, my prayer to you, Madam Reverend, is this. You, if you have no evidence to support your claims against Muigai, kindly come out to the public and apologize to him for his heart to heal. There is nothing as painful as a false accusation. If what you told us about him is nothing but the truth, then there is no need to apologize. Let the guilt keep running through him. I reiterate as I conclude that I do not own the account that published the story linking Muigai to Mutara's troubles and FGM practices. You are sincerely mother m hinga tokyo ya te idui grifo trasas enia musanana kokumaha dini wa youtube kikuri na ethio tuke wa subscribe bu shano comment kedo video eno na tukarigani ronoko turumira dini wa tiktok na facebook musanana koni ya tamusanana kiwi gatsu